Banter Podcast with Paul and Jettis. What the fuck is happening, people? Welcome to the General Banter Podcast. This is happening next week. Nice. This is the future. It, we're recording on a Monday, and this isn't going out till next Tuesday. I don't even know what date it is. 27th, is it? That's showbiz. Thanks, so, no. Uh, 27th. Hey, today. Today. That's 27th. It says 23rd in my watch, but... Um, what is it now? Japanese scrap, is it? Aye. So it'll be, it'll be going out on the 4th Seconda. of August. My guest today, Arm McCann, Tim Gallagher. You guys have a podcast, <laughs> do you? We do. Dirt Civil. Dirt Civil. Mm. Where can the people find that? Everywhere you find podcasts. Yeah. Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Spreaker, Bing. All right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit this out. But mm. so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So finally, we're lockdown is over. No one gives a fuck anymore. Uh, even you were bricking it there for a minute, but then now you tell me you weren't leaving the house. And then yesterday, you're on a boat party with your brother. Uh, <laughs> Brothers forty, if you know what I mean. Like it has, has to be a few salads. Is, is, he, is he your next sibling up? No, uh, he. The my next sibling up is probably thirty eight. Uh, and you're what? <laughs> I'm twenty six. You should have been a hand job, bro. <laughs> I find it so crazy. That's well late. <laughs> 26, like in the next one. That's mad. I feel like you'd never be stuck for like pocket money growing up though. You know oh, what I mean? Uh, give it to the young cub. You no. go, I fuck her. He's <laughs> for you, you know? No, I'm sure half of them are Protestants, so they'd give you fuck all. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> that's true. That's there. You're not wrong. Like. <laughs> Tell out there pretending he's a farmer. <laughs> Everyone thinks I am a farmer. I, I thought you, one I you were co- late because you were at the bank, were you? No, Just I was fucking... feeding cows. Uh, literally feeding cows. I was. Breast no joke. Uh, <laughs> love it. <laughs> what the? Uh, uh, so I did. I mean, you you don't let that out quite. Nah. It doesn't come across a lot that you're living on a functioning <clears throat> farm. No, I hold it back. It was it was borderline child, probably child labour growing up. Yeah. Farming didn't grow up on the farm, but. I try to hold it off my social media because it's not the vibe I want to give out. Aye. You know, it doesn't fit with the whole online coach. This is a good workout <laughs> for the tries. Aye. <laughs> Pulling them tits off. <laughs> I know. But no, I definitely don't want to be a farmer. But it has to be done, you this know. This is a general boundary exclusive Tim's secret farming life. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Everyone's messaging me. I put one cow in my story and they're like, no way, do you have cows, sir? I one cow in the story and then that's it. Like, that's it. That's it. Can you do a World show next year? Hey, can, can you do online farming? <laughs> no, I don't. No, well, funny, my dad sits on the online mart. Right. Every Monday night, oh. and all you hear is dad loves it. Like, mum's not a big fan, it ruins Coronation Street. But is it like most people have, like, you know, like a ton of fucking Amazon packages land on their door because they're, they're drunk and your mouth just opens the door and be like, there's a fucking load of cattle here? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, that's what it's like growing up in the country, you know. But no, I try to stay away from the farm as much as I can, honestly. It's not a good luck, like. Just get pulled in for emergencies. Mm. Dad's away this weekend, you see, so cows right. have to be fed. Cows are. He, cows not to feed themselves in the field? No, they're baby cows, like. All oh, right. Cows. You, you gotta <laughs> blend it up for them? It's actually, pro- no, it's fall on, it's powdered milk, like. Is it? It's like a protein shake, eh? Then whack it into a big teat, and Jesus then they just Christ. suck away, you know? And then Jesus. you just have to. That's like, yeah, that's like what we do with our baby. Right now. Yeah, it's pretty much. Get up in the morning, fucking, you know, slap it in a teat. Eight calves. I'd say mine's a bit handier. Like, I just throw the milk in, and you probably have to take a bit more care with yours. I'll just sit and be like, uh, you fucking fit. Although, this morning, he's been. He's becoming more, more or like less interested in milk. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, I've seen that he was eating scrambled eggs. He's fu- he's tank. This, this is what he did this morning. <laughs> he actually is. <laughs> <laughs> he made the jump from like, he, you know, he would take a bottle in the morning, then he'd take like a wee bit of a bottle, probably just like thirsty, just like mm. Mm, nice, and then you give him ready brack, and he was getting more disinterested than that. And it was fucking screaming and all. Then we, more he moved them up to the porridge. Oh wow! And he was chomping it like oh, chomping wow. porridge. And then he grab, he's in the high chair, grabs this top of a fucking t- kitchen chair for the table. Yeah, throws it down. He's fucked it on its side. Literally, he has cocoa pops. Eh? Fucking <laughs> That's I fucking hello. I give him a fucking green apple the other day, and he just swore I give him fucking eight lines of speed. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's probably more sugar than he's ever had. He was going to. <laughs> And I tried to get it off. It's like, yeah! And we take a bite. Yeah! It's incredible. I but he'd been chasing that dragon then the first time. Always, you know, first time was always catch him locked away in the bedroom. What are you doing? <laughs> He's got like eight pink ladies. What are you? Chomping the head of them. Go, go fucking up. I swear to God, he was like. Rrr! It was like you give him fucking two tons of monster. He's went nuts. Like. <laughs> But he has a full set of teeth, nearly. He's, <laughs> he's like, like a full-grown man. Like, he's like it's a shark. He's teeth <laughs> over and over and over again. Oh. And there's people, I know, like, there's people going like, oh, we have a one-year-old and he's just getting, like, a tooth coming through. 
Eddie's just like, this here guy's, we go. <laughs> this guy's fucking opening bottles of beer though, with his teeth. Oh my god. It's it just like the spit of Maureen, but yeah, like has your build. Yeah. Well, I'll be honest, I've seen, I've seen a few other people's babies recently, and he, like, they're like little babies, you know what I mean? They're like, I'm to say pizza the fuck out of them. It would surprise me. Because, well, here's another thing. Uh, Maureen's mate had her wee girl there, and she's about one and a half or two or so. I don't know what age she is. What was it? Eddie is five ounces. Or maybe it was a pounds. Ounces? I can't remember. No. Yeah, it would have been a pounds. Pounds, eh? Lighter. And she's about a full year older than him. <laughs> so. But he's not, he's not like. He is a savage, like. But he's not a big fat You know, you see those big. No. Fucking, no remember, remember he's like, well built. Remember, like, like the, the gypsy baby thing? The guy. <laughs> 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 the guy, the guy was like, "Well, that's a big baby." Like, yes, dude, we feed him fucking. He's he, raw meat. I, he's on the roids, and the, the baby has a fucking Rolex. And all, and it's like fucking six foot two. Well, thank you, and he get us. Yeah. Well, he, he fucking get us, bastards. <laughs> but uh, but he's not oh. like one of them big turn up babies. No, he's not. But like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just thick. Oh, like, turn up. He's got a bit, you know, like what's a turn up baby? Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like, gra- like, gra- like, yeah, these other babies mm. look like me, f- skinny babies, like me, tiny hands. Mm. He's just got like thick hands and big thick legs and everything. He's just th- thick boy. <laughs> he's strong. He's like, pulling chairs over and fucking just all sorts of shit. Like you hear racking. Like if he wakes up at night and you haven't, we haven't went to bed yet. You'll hear racking about. And he's just <laughs> grabbing the thing and running about the room. Just hey man, he's gonna shut down the crash, like <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just walking around bullying people, oh Tony Sopranos, <laughs> just taking lot people's lunches out of their hand. You come to me on my lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> what age is he? He's yeah, only like eight months. Oh my days! So that's mad. And he's full on eating toast and <laughs> eggs. <laughs> <laughs> he's having brunch and he's eight months. He's eating like a bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> he's sitting there shaking a fucking <laughs> on that gear. Like protein shake. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, oh literally, like days. I mean, back to back feeding them all day. Like, you take about five bottles and then eat about four times. His life doesn't sound too much different than no. mine. <laughs> You're mad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> My group of meals just straight in. <laughs> I heard you, you turf half of them in the bin, them free meals you get. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he's, uh, salmon straight in the bin. <laughs> this <laughs> fine salmon, no thanks. Salmon, ladies. It does. It's, yeah, Shout this out to, what are they called? Clean cut meals. Shout out to clean cut meals. You want to sponsor a real podcast around this <laughs> You want to shift some units? <laughs> Send them all to my house. Dirt civil, 20. <laughs> Get on it. Off. 20% yeah. off. Unbelievable. So everyone's losing weight. I'm on your program. Absolutely. Killing it. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm, doing, I'm lifting too much, man. The weight's not coming off. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting heavier. I'm eating nothing, getting heavier. You said one day, you said in a story, you were like, oh, Tim has me on like three calories yeah. and I had someone message me like is Gattis actually on three calories or? I was like please no don't take any he says seriously three calories yeah three calories is a bit fucking extreme what's that know. is that one inhale yeah <laughs> just breath it's a bit of rain water hitting yeah. on the lip you're not even allowed to breathe sometimes but no I had to say to them look don't don't take Gattis you know as fact well yeah you know I have to, tell, I have to tell that to my wife sometimes <laughs> yeah I'm like you do know 90% comes out of my mouth I've lied for laughs <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Lied uh, for laughs. Lied for laughs. What was I going to say? Uh, I found the perfect meal though. It was a steak and I fucking took the shot of it with a fitness pal. Uh-huh. It, was like a, it was like a... It wasn't even a sirloin. Yeah, it was a sirloin steak. Bang. Full packet of prawns. Cooked nice. Cooked some like paprika. Surf and turf job. Yeah, surf and turf. And I mean a full fucking bag of spinach wilted down. Class. That was all like 440 calories. <laughs> Jesus. That's it like... It's all about volume, man. And by the way, uncooked spinach was like fucking 14 calories. Wilted spinach was like minus two calories. <laughs> you, you, burn, you burn more eating it? Yeah. That's what celery's like. Celery, you burn more calories eating it than you're actually taking in. Uh, but it tastes like absolute oh, cake. Cel- nah, raw celery is <clears throat> dirt. Cooked celery in like a stew or something. Is, actually, is it? Adds a lot of taste, yeah. I tasted it once and I didn't fact, like it. See, see when you Dipped go- it into peanut butter. Well, Apparently that's a thing. Asshole. What do you mean, <laughs> Oh, Fix your a fucking, <laughs> put a courgette in a fucking tub of jam, rotten. Of course. It was no, I was told, I was told the peanut butter and celery is good. And also peanut butter and cottage cheese. It was equally as bad. I tried to take cucumber and well, cottage. Cottage, <laughs> You what? Cucumber and cadbury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Nutella and celery. I, Lovely. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. Biscoff Chopped bread. and spread. This uh, thing uh, I've never I had. I feel to. like you'd be, you'd be quicker just putting peanut butter on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> It would make more sense on reflection. You, it makes more sense, yeah, definitely. Why is everyone hot in the deck of themselves as well? About biscoff, like it's like the thing yeah, now is mm. coming through. Yeah, it's all right. It's like, yeah. I've never. I don't think I've ever had it out of the jar. I've had biscoff cheesecake, aye. which just tastes like cheesecake. The bait, like yeah. New York cheesecake. Kind I of associated thing. like if you were somewhere and they give it to you like as a free biscuit or a tea or something. Aye. And now it's, it's like never the thing. actual biscoff yeah. though. It's always like a wee cheap, yeah, cheap one. But this yeah. would work now if you were doing marketing. You get some random. Fo- fucking account or name and you have someone be like you know in like a Scottish sort of twang or whatever just be like oh man let's you know let's not act like these aren't the best biscuits around and then boom, 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 that flies around the internet and then Biscoff or you can buy them everywhere now so Java Kex if you're listening <laughs> I can take you to the top Dirt 20 <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the civil sir it's the most important part oh, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, it sounds weird. Just dirt. Uh, dirt level 20. Um, the, the only reason it's nice is because that's all you get. Because I was in a fucking B&M bargains and for a pound, they give you a fucking kilo and a half of them. <laughs> <laughs> and when they're in the house, you don't give a fuck about them. You're like, ah. You're like Gary V showing them out. <laughs> this yeah, is the biscuits. It's just throwing biscoffs out the car window at Tramps. But <laughs> they are only nice because it's free. Yeah, they're very... Yeah. It's like the... Like the little chocolate we got free right. with this, that was good because it was free. Yeah, he's ooh, tasty. Yeah. You're not gonna eat like a no. fucking. <laughs> not gonna have a packet I, of it at home. I actually love dark chocolate, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's like a wee sneaky. It's like we got a chippy, it was actually a few weeks ago now. And when you get a full fish supper, mm. oh no, it was in Port Rush. When you get a full fish supper, spot. <laughs> and you're trying to eat, you're trying to eat all this shit, you're like, chips aren't great. If you had a fish supper and I went, oh, I fucking cheeky, yeah. lovely. Mm. But when you're sitting there and you're like, <sighs> you take that well, deep breath and you're like, there's still like a lot of chips. I know. Yeah. It's not that nice. It's just the sneakiness. I think fish and chips are overrated, like. Massively. Definitely I would never, like, I I would never order it, like. No, it's not something that, you know you way you crave Chinese. You don't yeah. crave going, mm. Do you know what fucks me off? Fish and chips. Is if you go to like, say a bistro and someone orders. <laughs> What's this next? <laughs> <movie? laughs> someone say you go to a Bob and Burt's. <laughs> For example, <laughs> and someone orders a curry, that really fucks me yeah. off. Like, mm. that bothers me. And also, if people order pasta, it drives me nuts. Oh, see, I love a good yeah. carbonara. I, <laughs> we we do like, yeah, there, it's where great. You get a dinner and a show, just and a show, and yeah. the guy's just basically abusing the staff half the time, uh, and it's hilarious. Like, it's a good watch. But yeah, my sister will be like, "We're going to the Villa Italia, not the shell of it. It's, it's a great place." Mm. But she'll be like, "Their carbonara is stunning," <laughs> and you're like, "You know, it's three things." <laughs> I can make you fucking carbonara right now, mm. and it would taste the same. Like, yeah. I think it's absolutely stunning. I ate it, and I was stunned at how, <laughs> at how fucking beige it was. I, I do like carbonara. Dude. A lot of, unless it's pizza, a lot of Italian food can eat my dick, and there's a, there's a load of it. It's just fine. I, that's why I like Asian stuff because you're eating it and you go, I could yeah. make this. I yeah. make this. The flavour, yeah, I get that. I, I like a fish that. sauce where it like, tastes good and then smells like a okay, fucking dog's ass. But like, <laughs> authentic Italian pizza can get fucked too. Like, really? I just have Tyrone, like, best style. Like. Uh, it's authentic, like real thin and bubbly. Authentic is Giuseppe's. That's as no, it's not. As it gets. I've never had a Giuseppe's <laughs> and I know that's a big staple in your two lives, but I've never had it. Listen, it's, it's just a fun reaction. thing we like to play along with. You yeah. I mean, if, if I went to another pizza place, Noma, I could be swayed. This is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy, you know what I mean? You land on it. Yeah. I like Papa G's, personally. Pizza in Oma. <laughs> Papa G's. <laughs> it's, it's would be my favourite. We have 24 pizza places in Oma. That's also true. I thought you were going to say we've got 24% off that. With <laughs> dirt, dirt, <simple>. <laughs> Papa G's 20. <laughs> Papa Dirt. Them sponsorships <laughs> racking up. <laughs> Papa Dirt. Uh, uh. <laughs> that could be a shout. I think the, the, the Giuseppe's was actually just a, a reward for driving to a gig mm. you know like a lot for years it was you go to Oma and you leave two days later <laughs> with 10 years knocked off your life yeah but now it's like se- you know sensible oh we've done I the miss gig. them days let's get a fucking you know i go to terry key's house wake up with cock ring stuck in the back <laughs> mickey gets actually assaulted by a six, <laughs> six foot four woman who's a judo black belt class and then, and then you head home and it's all a, all a good weekend oh uh, my days yeah I, I came in too late for that I feel like uh, I, I, you were doing your fucking key stage things yeah I had double French in the morning <laughs> when you were doing that what's uh, double French mean how long is that in your school uh, yes. like an hour two two half hour periods of French class what a waste of time uh, see our school worked in 20 minute increments what I like that that's so, like the Pomodoro technique for productivity 
20. <laughs> another, gra- another great pizza place. There you go. <laughs> Sammy Pomodoro. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. 20 minute, yeah. 20 minute. 20 minute bursts. Yeah. Apparently it's the most productive I amount of time. I got this watch and it's got it's broken up into this little 50 minute thing and sometimes I'll move it round. I like that watch. You put that in your Instagram, sorry. I, that- I move it round to like there and I go right of that red of that red period. Oh you, yes. You like emails oh, or something. Oh shit. That's nice. Do you know what I mean? Uh, oh my word. That, that's what lockdown has been for me. Watches. Hours upon hours of just looking at watches <clears throat> online and watching guys talk about watches. <laughs> when are you gonna of. When are you gonna invest in a big like pr- like a big time watch? You know, we're, we're, I'm yet to find one that really fucking. I would. I tell you what, I would get. <clears throat> I would get an Omega Speedmaster, mm. the Moon Watch. I would get that just because of its significance. But there's nothing that I see where I'm like, oh my god, I would. Fucking, I need this. I would drop ten grand on that because it doesn't. It's. It, I look at it like. I, I love buying shoes but I'll never be like here's a fucking five grand pair of Italian leather mm. Gucci nah. boots and that's all I'm buying yeah. give me fucking a hundred pairs from TK Maxx yeah. oh yeah I'm a tramp you know what I mean that's what I'm saying but yeah I would, I would if I had a pile of money I would get a yeah. Speedmaster but that's it uh, and I'd probably see it and go well I'm gonna buy a different colour now <laughs> I know do you like watches watch guy I do like watches yeah but I don't know, I'm not at the level where I'd want to like spend big money on a watch yet. Same with shoes. I'd rather just buy a load of nice watches that suit yeah. loads of different outfits. Exactly. At a yeah. decent price point, not just spend. We see, I've, I've got into the, the world of Seiko. I've seen watches, you put up right? a little... I have fucking four, about four of them now. Mm. But like, that's a good way to collect really, yeah. really good watches. With It's like if there were cars, you had a load of Volkswagens. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> Standard. It's like yeah. good quality... I don't get either reference. Yeah, he's just, <laughs> he can't tell the time we're driving. Like good. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. yeah, but like you can you can you can have like a fucking box full of them yeah. instead of just one all different that colors. You're, that yeah, you're like protecting. Mm. I don't give a fuck. You know? Nah, I'm the same. I'm the same. And also this watch, I've I've been sitting there with this, and someone's had like a an Omega Seamaster, but and I've looked at the two of them, and I'm like, yeah, like there's not that much difference. You know, what am I paying for here? You're paying for the brand name, I suppose. Really, at the end of the day, like yeah. Casio does, and, and nah. you know, you know, you watch rap videos. You're like, bring on, bringeth the puss. <laughs> and in actual, in real life, it's just some guy yeah. going, "Oh, nice out there." Uh, <laughs> Where'd you get that? <laughs> oh. Tim's new book, "Bringeth the Puss." Is like, <laughs> Dirt Civil Twenty for twenty percent off <laughs> of the ebook. Of the, oh. It's narrated by Aaron, <laughs> <laughs> so it takes four hours. <laughs> can't read, can't tell the time, uh, can't drive. Uh. His new book, can't. <laughs> Which is a picture book will be out. Arn McCant. Uh, that was good. Yeah. I like that. That was yeah. good. That was nice. That was M- sharp. McCant or not? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So the main the main point of this meeting today was so we can go for Asian food after. Really, to be honest. Yeah. I'm very excited, I say. Uh, very excited. You've you've been thriving during uh, lockdown. Mm. <laughs> but like myself, I'm yeah. <laughs> You were you started well to be fair. No one. I remember when we had a conversation at the start. McCann was like, "Right, I've bought fifteen courses here. I'm going to come out of this well, with a see, degree." Yeah. <laughs> at least you're learning. Yeah. At least you're doing something. Yeah. And then I fucking uh, I, I went for like a six week period of just like drinking, eating shit, and then I was like, "I'm sick of this." You found out it's possible to sleep sixteen hours yeah. on end. Got my sleeping pattern back. I feel like I would walking. be I would be physically crippled if mm. I lay bed for sixteen hours. I I go I go to last night. I went to sleep at fucking one and got up at seven <clears> and I. Whatever like the time that is, still get out of bed like ah! <laughs> hamstrings tight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Standard. Neck sore. What do you find those are your perfect sleep as in like hours wise? Like if you get you know it's like eight hours is the recommended. Uh, I'm six, like do you know, if I get six, yeah, I'm do, sweet. Do you know what mine would be? No joke. It would be like it would be like say <laughs> I could get up early, right? And then about Nap. Eleven sleep for about three hours, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I'd stay up to about Eight at night and then sleep from about eight to about twelve and then get up. So if I had like two, <laughs> it's like a body <laughs> it makes God, three I, days and one like, day. If I, if I could instead of going to bed once, <clears throat> if I could have like two longer naps, yeah, I'd be flying. Because I so there's a lot of times I have to, you know, I'm like, well, I suppose society tells me I should be going to bed now. <laughs> Screw mainly, society, mainly because there's nothing else to do. You know, yeah, like your fucking child is asleep and your wife's in bed. And you're like, well, fuck, I'll go to bed then. But plenty of nights I just lie there going, <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> Yeah, big. Yeah, 
that's, yeah, no, that's, it's where, like, that's where you would take drugs or drink. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, there's no full stop on this day. Yeah. I kind of did dirty habit of listening to the podcast as I'm going to bed, and now mm. I can't sleep without something in the background. I like the sleep timer. I like, you know, the way it turns off oh, at, uh, after yeah. like 15 minutes. But that's I don't like the way then when you wake up, say if you fell asleep after five minutes, you don't know where you're at in the podcast. Yeah. Which All is right. quite annoying also. But you see, I would probably get into that. <clears throat> the, only, the only way I would fall into a deep sleep is if I actually try and watch something that I'm supposed to pay attention to. Yeah. So if I put it on, I'd be like, oh yeah, Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like five minutes in, I'm like fucking nodding yeah. off. Dozed off. I get sleeping. <clears throat> I'd rather not. I walk around knackered all day. Yeah. But I, get, I hate having to go to sleep. Drives me nuts. No, I do love sleep now. I definitely, and I know you, you oh, love I sleep love it, also. Like, it's such a weird thing though, isn't it? When you think about it, like if you're having a real stone fall. I know. You just like lie there pretending to do it and then you do it. Then you wake up. Man, sleep is the cousin of death. <laughs> and do you know who said that? Nas. Shout out Nas. Shout out to uh, <laughs> Na- Nasta for Jones. <laughs> it's all about the quality of sleep too, though. Oh, yeah. A lot oh, of people yeah. just go to bed and then they get eight hours and they think, why am I still tired? Oh, yeah, you need a wank like. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I can barely sleep sometimes unless I have one. See, it's never an issue I've had. I, as, soon as, I hit, as soon as I hit the pillow, sir. I'm, I'm gone. Everywhere. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> just, just gone. I just explode and then wake up and deal with it in the morning. <laughs> oh my god. Are you, <laughs> are you still sober October on the bucket? Oh, I. Oh, I. Co- Tell co- me this, it's it, COVID, sir. Super on it's COVID. COVID. It's COVID. I, you can't be touching anyone else. Sir. I have a <laughs> That's the weirdest I way I've heard someone describe celibacy. Uh, well, <laughs> you still been sober October in the bucket? Yeah. Uh, Are you like? Is there something just mystical about vaginal sex, or will you, will you, yes. go, will you go ass the mouth? Will I, oh no, ass the mouth's fine. Some is it? <laughs> fine. Jesus that, didn't mind rum, like. uh, The vaginal stuff. So yeah. the vaginal stuff. That's the off, sac- off. sacred, sacred. That's where Satan is. Tell that to your asshole. <laughs> So you, is that for real? Like you give fucking no, no, you can, no, you can be no, 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 no. It's just you know you just, just you're supposed to try and stay celibate for as long as you can until marriage. That's the whole. So you're like, all right, the wedding's booked, but you're just I just <laughs> all over her face. Everyone's different, you know. Everyone does their own thing, but bagpiping. What's that now? Fuck that armpit. <laughs> I I would have never got that if I was trying to figure out what that was. I'll look it up. But no. Uh, Bagpiping. Bagpipe. It's one of these things where I go to, I type in Pornhub and there's like 500 links or <laughs> Bagpipe. I'm I, sure I, that's not a thing. I would like to see that. If you could pull a clip up of that. Bro, I'm a man of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the thumbnail here. Look at the size of his cock, bro. <laughs> it's like a Swiss roll. That's a sky remote. That's what Emma Cam describes his. What? Sky remote. Uh, <laughs> Old buttons on it. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely keypad, infrared, <laughs> full, full of dust. <laughs> <laughs> Need uh, sanitized it regularly. Oh my days! That's it. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, Let me see. I typed in bagpiping. This is just a video of a guy actually playing bagpipes. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine like you had a video of you bag playing bagpipes, and then someone's like. Where will I upload this? <laughs> it's popping off on Pornhub. I, I got banned from that. <laughs> By the way, how fucking heck like, are these videos always at the same where it's like I know they're two, they're two times speed, man. But then also, you know... That's the way I listen to podcasts. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> Productivity. <laughs> fucking people. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll get like, you'll get something like this and the cookies has meant, the cookies has meant that they know where your geolocation is and I'll be like, do you want to fuck sluts in Craig Allen? <laughs> <laughs> I got one of them one time that was like uh, horny, dirty sluts and escrow. <laughs> right now, you get there, it's Terry McHugh. <laughs> oh, that's too much. Sir. That's too much. Sir. Horny, dirty sluts. Mine always, and mine always comes up as Craig Alvin, but Oma never has them. It must be a real fuck. <laughs> Oma must. Oma never has them. It's always Craig Alvin. Nah. But I think our Wi-Fi, com- like our, our 4G comes up as Craig Alvin sometimes. Yeah, we need to we need to give it a rest in the pizza spots and barbers and get more spots. Oh, wow. Is this bagpipe? Oh, wow. Class. Why is there no sign? This is an actual thing. Why is there no sign? Yeah, that guy's just fucking her armpit. What about them big fake teddies? I have never seen that. Buy more time <laughs> 
Uh, why, why won't this? Hold on. Why, Craig Alvin. Why won't this Class. connect to the fucking... You know, this is where they're all at in Craig Alvin. Hold on a second. If I can get this guy actually playing bagpipes there. <laughs> Maybe the... Oh, oh, the volume's down from a but some people But some people actually do that. Have you never seen that? On like... Um, they type. They just try and get their video out there, and they're like, "Right, I'm struggling on Vimeo. Social media is not working. Let's just we, we upload it here." The, yeah. se- the secret gig I did, I might put it on Pornhub. Yeah, yeah, you and should just, just link a Pornhub. I know, yeah. absolutely. And then you have to put a title, like a clickbait title. That's what they all do. Thirty people get fucked with <laughs> giggles or something. Yeah, dirty, horny giggle monsters in your area. I hit these. Car- I hit these cartoons. TikTok. Oh my days. This <laughs> Why am I not hearing that? News are deaf. Why can't I hear that? News are fucking going deaf over there. Tough question. Why is there a lizard? Yeah, hey, I'll tell you what. This is better than any porn. Do you know what? Whenever I play the, porn, now I leave some work to do, man. Because uh, <laughs> I think because when I played the bagpipe and thing, I couldn't hear it. It was probably giant. <laughs> I, I could hear the bagpipe as well. She was enjoying it. Was she? Uh, she was, to be fair. Yeah, love her. Mm. <laughs> Look at this doll here. Class. Who was it? I mean, I've never I've never came across, we're on term, uh, any <laughs> females that were like into anything super weird. Have you ever... Uh, Apart from emotional abuse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All of them? Gaslighting? Uh, turned you on? Uh, no, not on like, not on like mad crazy. Like. Nah. No, me neither. <laughs> No, I'm mad, like. No. What about yourself? No, I'm not mad. No. Crazy, no. like. But oh, Mickey, he was talking about some girl looking crazy. <laughs> Shock, old Mickey. I mean, you attract what you, you know, get yeah. like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All them premier ends. You're average of the five hairs you're banging. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like that, Ener- energy goes where focus flows. <laughs> 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 or whatever the fucking saying is. <laughs> oh, my dear. Oh, so funny. Yeah, this is probably I feel like it would just be, be messy, like if someone was like, I like to be pissed on, and you're like, that's, that's in you, you Honestly, you wouldn't want me to push on you. No. Nah. That big morning arm brew pit. Dehy- <laughs> dehydrated. It'd just be like, hey. You'd be, like, be stinking. <laughs> you putting popcorn on? <laughs> I can't believe that's actually a thing. People like that. Pissing on each other? Uh, it's a bit off. Like. I mean, that, that's that's probably like on the, on the team end of what people like. Bit of pish. Yeah. That actually might be acceptable in my religion. I don't know. Bagpipe to me is weirder than pish. The Lord said pish <laughs> on our face. You dirty bitch. No. I mean, it'd be, yeah, it's 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 just uh, you, you would question who she was with or what happened to her before she got yeah. to you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you piss in my mouth? Well, we're gonna have to yeah. do some work. On this. How, how did we get to this point? And what's happened before that? Yeah, I just be like fill in this coaching application form so I can find out a little bit more about you. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I get your money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, dare, I dare say it's not a great relationship with the father on that one. I would oh, say. Uh, the oh the definitely the not. Has been pissing in her mouth. <laughs> Yeah, you know something weird's happened to you if you're like, listen, we're all having good crack here, but listen, I can't really yeah. get the Put end away. Put that selection box down and let me push your <laughs> I'm fucking eating my dinner. <laughs> oh, sir. Oh, sir. Anyway. <sighs> Do you want to watch more bag, <laughs> <laughs> This is probably a, a change of pace from last week. Well, back at the... Uh, I mean, I like a case. Someone left a comment on Patreon. They were like, oh, "I hope you're not going down the same wormhole as them." And I was like, "Nah, no rabbit holes." It would take a while. Like, just prefer rolls, <laughs> sausage rolls, <laughs> sausage rolls. But I just, I enjoy the stories because they are fascinating. You mm-hmm. know, well, they definitely, are. yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And some of them, I am obsessed, kind of, with that <clears throat> that world of like once, as we were saying the last one, once you've all the money and all the cars and all the fucking women and all. What do you do to get your fucking kicks? Like, yeah. when our kids? That's the only two having these things yeah. to be these days. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I'm 33 now, and I was saying to Niall before this podcast, you, when you know people your age who are still trying to even be live that single life, you're like, weird. Yeah. What do you do, man? Yeah. I know, I know, like, everyone's like, oh, don't have kids, ruined your life, but you're like, what, what the fuck else are you going to do? Be on Snapchat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're 35, man. Yeah, swipe and thunder. Snapchat, that day to death. That really did that. I, I was upset like. about it. I was, I was killing the game. Snapchat. You went back on it again, it, did it you not there recently? Uh, <clears throat> I go on it probably every six weeks, just to I, check do in. You know, do you know why I downloaded it? <clears throat> do, for the filters. And I, would, I was going to record stuff and uh, take it out, but no, yeah. it's, a, I, it's I, totally I get, dead. Like. I get like fucking messages in German and all. I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> but I was, see before they changed it, it was a very powerful. Oh, I, yeah, 100%. 100%. I was, get, I was like, 
I think I was getting like twenty thousand fucking wee eyes yeah. on the thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. You could have you could have sold out a gig. Well, you did. Definitely. You sold out the fucking what was it on the four hours notice? It was like one Snapchat from you, and the place was fucking packed. Like that's what it, like that's how it is. Definitely it. very powerful. Was the, like was it the charity gig we did? No. What do you call the What do you call the first <laughs> one we did? And it was like it was like four hours notice of log of it and shit. I the fly. It was in the fly or yeah, the fly. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That was back whenever Snapchat was actually popular. Yeah. No one's like that now. Like TikTok, maybe? TikTok, aye. Uh, Everything's all weird fucking about. algorithms and. Yeah, it is. Snapchat's dead now. It's just all like. Like Facebook is a fucking. That's dead. Like. Yeah, it's dead. Unless now. you pay for advertising. It's like, dead. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I put something up there. Like that Barry the Blender page has like 163,000 things on it. You put a video up and it's like 5,000 views. Yeah. So it, just, I, like, it doesn't go to any of them. Don't, no, they just don't show it to anyone unless you're going to pay money to is there a way to even like get to all them people and be like follow me on instagram no pay, pay for an ad pay for an ad yeah, yeah. but yeah. then people then people pay for ads and they don't know what they're doing and it just ends up being a waste of money yeah would it be funny to like <coughs> uh, just pay for an ad and the opening line is facebook's for fucking dickheads <laughs> yeah. follow me on fucking instagram instagram's where it's at like my first my pinned tweet on twitter is fuck this follow me on instagram <laughs> good Good I like Twitter, but it fries your head. Like, I don't go on Twitter. I don't go on Twitter at all. When people say social media is toxic, that's what they're talking about. I find myself on occasion like. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I find myself on Twitter. <laughs> that's where <laughs> I go. That. No, I'll be like watching shit before I go to bed, and you just you watch like ten violent street fights, uh, and you're, you're all tense, and you put the phone down. And you're like, I really should be doing that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching. I'm like stressed watching yeah. it. <laughs> Fuck it's so man. much in the one go, like, or just uh, some shit you don't want to see. Yeah. Remember, I sent a photo in the comedians group one day, and it was like, it looked like this wee sort of Zelda type girl with the wee set of teddies and a cock. And yeah. it was, it was, I don't know who retweeted it, what fucking felt I'm following, but it was just like, well, there's a fella with a dick. Yeah. Or a, a lady with a dick. Yeah, again, how do you get to that? Like, that's why I don't go on Twitter. Common cartoons? No, definitely. I don't go on Twitter at all. I only use Instagram, Facebook. Do you think if the, business. Lock, do you think if the lockdown went longer? People would just not have f- human contact, wouldn't have physical relationships, would wank themselves broken. <laughs> and then people would just be like, ah, j- you know what to do? I just I message people for a bit of interaction and then I just put this machine up my ass for the rest of the time. Well, did you find it weird when you like met first met a couple people outside of lockdown and you're like chatting to them? Uh, no. I felt very I like felt, peep felt, show. There was a couple of... Yeah. There was a couple of moments where you're just a wee bit overwhelmed, where you're like, yeah. mm. "This is very loud," and you know, like, yeah, yeah, you're like, "Jesus Christ, there's a lot to deal with just right now." But not with people, nah. Yeah, because like that was the first time I've seen you, even. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't feel like that long. No, if it was like fucking four years or something, yeah, yeah, it'd be weird. Really, like, what what's it been? Five, four months, mm, five months, something like that. Yeah, it's not that long in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, but there's there's no. easily you, there's people you wouldn't see that for that long. Anyway, no. Do you know what I mean? And show technology now. She wouldn't even sure, sure. know that we're gone at all. That's it. Face times, not care. That's it. Uh, they might have Zoom podcast we did. No. And obviously your house is lit by candle. Uh, <laughs> that's because so true. you know what I mean. That's so true. It's the, it's the warmest, yellowest light. Oh, that, uh, how warm is my house? Like, yeah, I it is. I convinced my ma's growing weight in it. Uh, your mom. Should, there's no need for it to be that warm. I swear the Alex fall. Like, it's all the rest no of the kids way. moved out. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting all hydroponic up in here. No, your mum definitely loves the heat. Like, my, me and my mum have like a, a new form found. Like, it's an even stronger bond we have now. That's nice. Lockdown. That's real nice. Sitting, drinking tea and Pink talking gin. about drugs. And <laughs> I guess some things. So you'll tell me like, oh, I was chatting to my ma the other day, but and then insert some thing that you would take to the grave, yeah. <laughs> and you're just sitting there telling your ma about it. I tell her everything. You know, that's the kind of relationship you want to have. You know, you're like, you know, she's like, I trust, I trust. Like you, you walk. You walk in, you still having a cup of tea, and the first sentence you hear is like, and I, I couldn't come, so I'd, uh, <laughs> basically, you know, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I was choking her, but she kept coughing. So like, uh, she asked for it, I don't rest with the strength, and her killer, but <laughs> she's just sitting there. Like, Your mum's just, I just, <laughs> <laughs> fucking digesting, that's wild. I don't even know how to hide a body, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a hole to hole, anyway. Uh, <laughs> what's for dinner? Salmon. Salmon, get it in the bin. <laughs> Where are they last like been found? Come on or stool? You know what I mean? What's deeper? I know, I know. Your mum just kept rattling out the dinners too. I don't think she realised you were getting meals sent to you. No, I'd ring she, you and you were like, oh, it's fish fingers she, for tea she would, she would make like, She would make like, she always makes like big meals anyway for like herself and dad. And then she just like... Realises that she's got get? enough for 12. And I'm like, my mum is a sponsored athlete now, fuck's sake. Can't be. It's true. Throwing out the sponsor. <laughs> I'm doing upside down setups in the room. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a bot. It I, is I, so have funny you been working though. out at all? No, nah, just walking. Gay. Okay. Just walking. Uh, well, one of the funny stories, funny stories ever was when you were coming up to my house and your mom was like, make you dinner. And she was like, do you want something with us? And you were like, oh, I'm, I'm not eating. I'm eating stuff at Call the Morning's house. And she just took the scrum leg and fucked it. <laughs> She literally like, <laughs> fuming, right. fuming. I can Shut imagine. Up, I can it imagine like, your mum being like. It was that. like robotic. Like it was like there was no turning back. And that. I was like, oh, sure, I'm getting stuff up there. And she went, well, Ajax, Ajax, <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> that's so off- That's there's nothing more offensive though to her oh, is right. you turning down food that's just been made. Yeah. You should have had that. Like you shot on her main purpose there. <laughs> yeah. She's just like, well, fuck this. Then. Well, <laughs> uh, what's the point? Well, what's hilarious is like too if, if my mum offers you something as well like, yeah. you know whenever you do get a bit paranoid if accepting like tea or something at someone's house my mum's like legit pissed off if yeah. you don't take it what's the most uh, have you ever eaten something because <clears throat> someone gave it to you and out of embarrassment or whatever you ate the whole thing and you didn't want it at all <laughs> This is so funny. <laughs> I brought McCann to my auntie's house. Was it the time we were at the Olympics? Yeah. yeah. That's a throwback. <laughs> I like to see freestyle wrestling. We had to see freestyle wrestling at the Olympics. <laughs> so it was all. We left 10 minutes early to go to Oxford Street. Big, yeah. big wrestling guys. Oh, uh, big wrestling guys. Um, He's not even using the fucking chair. <laughs> what is this shit? Where's someone jump off a ladder for where's, fuck's where's sake? Where's Randy Orton? <laughs> when does this midget partner come in? <laughs> Oh, but uh, my auntie, she made a big, massive feed of mushrooms, like, and McCann hated mushrooms at the time. She 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 went up to me and she, she like goes, a hippie or something. She was like, no, she just lo- just very wholesome eating. Well, you know? it, was, it was a mushroom casserole, wasn't it? And it wasn't hallucin- hallucinogenics. <laughs> it was just good old fashioned mushrooms. She goes, "Is there anything you don't like?" And I was like, oh, I "Everything wanna, in that part." <laughs> I don't want to be saying like. I was like, "No, I'll eat anything." Like fucking say man. But then, you like mushrooms now? I do. I've came right into them. Well, there you go. It's part of growing up, I think. But there's there's some things I don't think I'll warm to. Like <laughs> celery. Celery and peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Just That's just not a good combo. Never eaten that. Uh, I love a mushroom, I must say. What's going on? I, I remember going this uh, back when you could get like schoolboy tickets to rugby matches. Mm. Like in your school, you, you, you would buy like fucking, it was like seven euro to be sitting like front row in an Ireland match. And there's, and there's like French guys with signs being like 500 euro a ticket and everything. <laughs> but you would drink on the bus now. But I went around to this guy's house because we were meeting there and getting this bus to Dublin. And you were going around to his house early doors like. Yeah. Because the match was like a one o'clock match on a Saturday or something. So early doors at his house to drive to this place where the bus was leaving. And I'd already ate. I was like, I, I can't remember. I know you eat cereal or something. I was like, I've eaten whatever. And then I had a fucking apple and brought a banana with me. I had it in the way. And I got there and she was like, Colin, do you want to eat soda, do you? And I was like, no, I've eaten it all. She goes, you have to try them. You have to try these. They're, they're bacon and cheese in the bread. Oh, and wow. I, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, honestly, I'll, fuck it, I'll taste a wee bit or whatever, but I'm, you know, I've eaten already. And she brings out, you know, the full fucking like bit of soda? Yeah. Cut in half, opened, toasted and buttered, two of them. <laughs> and she goes she goes that one's bacon and cheese and the other one was fucking you know some other bullshit like a flavoured soda <laughs> and she's standing there at the doorway of my mate's bedroom she goes eat that there sure and I was like oh and it's about the size of that and I'm like and I took a bite no by the way no, no tea or like I know, coffee, nothing, to, nothing to drink and it was like obviously salty and a soda and I was like that's nice and she goes and lovey try the other one though and then she was like, eat it all because you made it because you, you'll not get the eating. And you know, like, you'll not get the eating for another six weeks. I, someone worrying about, you'll not get the eat till you're in Dublin in an hour and 40 minutes. And I'm like, ah, just pushing it into my face. And I, I can remember, like, getting on this bus and I needed a shit. And I was so, I've never been more thirsty in my life. And then we stopped for a car. This is so embarrassing. Stop for a carry out. At this point, I'm like, like, just <laughs> bacon and soda. I couldn't move. Like, and I went into this thing, got a carry out. Bought a thing of water and I bought a bottle of Coke to mix this. I mean, I was fucking 60 or 17. I shouldn't be drinking spirits at all. Opened this bottle of Coke and the bus sort of stopped and I dropped it, right? Uh, and it turned and literally wedged in between the crotch like that. So the bottle was, like a two litre bottle was sticking up this way. Just going, glug, 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 glug. And I had to lift it and I'm just like, I'm, what the fuck is today? Like, what happened even, I was like, turn around. See, for a while, that sounded like a porn script. She's like, you'll take a filled soda. And you're just sitting there alone. No, go on, touch out the other one. No. He's playing fucking like FIFA like, and <laughs> in Nintendo 64 and like a real early computer and I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> two full so like you couldn't eat that like if you were the most stoned you'd ever been mm. you couldn't eat two buttered sodas like that reminds me of a thing that a cafe in Leeds used to do when we were at uni they used to call it breakfast and bre- <laughs> breakfast and bread and nice. it used to be two hollowed out loaves 
You know, yeah. you know, like a full batch loaf. Yeah. And they usually just scoop out the middle and yeah. fill it with beans, sausages, bacon. And they were just like, here you go. I can't deal with it. I actually, you see, I can't deal with like wet. Too much bread, but. Wet, wet content in a sandwich. Because uh. I listened to your podcast. I thought I'd listen to one. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> listen to 10 minutes. <laughs> Get the code for that free meals. <laughs> <laughs> and you were talking about, we were talking about Subway or something. Yeah. Who the fuck? It's a big talking point now. Who the fuck? <laughs> it's most of the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's most of the thing. The Catholic who the, who the fuck's getting meatballs in a sub? Me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's my favorite thing when I go to Subway, just as a treat. Small meatball. No, just as a treat, like. It's th- but it's no, but it's not. It's the fucking worst treat I've ever heard of my it's, life. No, but it's, you know it's messy. Say, now, don't get me wrong. It's not worth the calories. It's definitely. Not it's not worth, worth the, the calories. calories. No. Yeah. no. No, it's, it's not. fucking disgusting. But I think so. I think you get it just tastes like Southwest sauce. Like any of the footlongs, the Southwest sauce is so strong it yeah. just tastes like that. Yeah, like footlong Southwest sauce. There's there's a thing you can buy like in a spice section. Oh, of, of a drug dealer's house. No, like a, <laughs> in a Tesco's, and it's just Italian mixed herbs. And see if you make a fucking ham sandwich at home and put the mixed herbs on it and pickles. Unreal. Everything's a subway. All right. If you shook if you shook that over my cock <laughs> and put a pickle on it. It's a subway. Some decent wee sex <laughs> <laughs> Two meatballs. <laughs> that, that's, that's all you're tasting. Like, yeah. Yeah. But fuck, I, I've talked about that loads of times doing the ad for Subway and they brought up 12 meatball <laughs> subs are perfectly made and I, oh, every take I had to be like, hey! <laughs> and I bite it and by the end of it I was like about to vomit out my nose. Like. <laughs> it's a fucking pasta dish in a sandwich. Yeah. What, yeah. what are yeah. you doing, man? Yeah. What's next? Bread no, it bread. is too much. It is too much. Sure. I get it the odd time. I like the taste is good, but it's like a full on job eating it. But I do like it. It's just it don't make sense to me. It's like having soup in a sandwich <laughs> or something. You know what I mean? It's like Aye. again, great idea. Can I have bolognese bath? <laughs> Foot long carbonara. Can I have a stroganoff. <laughs> <but yeah. laughs> I don't hate this at all. There's no, <laughs> to me, no, definitely not. I've definitely eaten worse. Taking notes and all. Mm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I, I mean, put, you'd probably get that at fucking... What do you call the place beside yours again that I love going to that has air... Oh, in Dungannon? Uh, well, yeah. Newell Stores? Oh, my God. Like Newell Stores. They, they'll basically do you strong enough. Where's Newell get, Stores? Like, I know where that is. It's in Dungannon. Uh, but it's fucking unbelievable. I mean, I've, 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 again... I've That's the wee film station? There is a film station, but I've, it's like a, it's like a family-owned... like. Mm. Supermarket, like yeah, a small one, but I that's where I got my fucking bravado there because I, I was going up and I was seeing like a load of shit that I wanted and being embarrassed to ask for it. And then that fucking Polish guy in front of me, he was like, Do lasagna, soup, sweet and sour sauce, he- curry half and half. And, and the woman's putting it all in this one thing, he's like, Two donuts, sausage roll, beef sausage. And the, yeah, like literally at the end, she was trying to she was trying to cram the lid on and he just went, And four sausage. <laughs> Like, that's how he finishes all his meals. Uh, we, we were so fat, we'd go down there and, like, get goujons and sides. <laughs> I would be like, we you'd get the meal, and then I'd be like, do you want some car goujons? And he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> and then you'd be like, can I have 16 goujons? And we'd eat those in the car, and then i over there. Oh, my God. It's car goujons. And you wonder why. <laughs> well, that's the, the dog days rovers, are uh, You know? It's only only up from here. I'd be going in there, and I'd be like, can you heat up this fucking grenade bar for me? <laughs> <laughs> You might Here, move. heated grenade bars are great. I saw a hair, I'm never doing it. They're, they're great with I, ice cream, but that f- defeats a purpose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of ice if cream. you melt it on a cheesecake. Yeah, mm, delicious. <laughs> delicious. I'm well, gonna, how long have we been talking here? Four, five, 45 minutes. There's, there's oh, wow. a bag of questions here. A bag of questions. Also, who drew this illustration and why is Tim fatter? <laughs> here, my mum said this. My mum was like, that illustrator's done you in there. Uh, McCann looks great. You Emily look McClemmett's awful. McCann very, very talented. Yeah, it was fant- it's fantastic. Even though I am looking very rotund. It's all good. Wow. Fair play there. Um, <laughs> we've got questions here. <clears throat> How does Tim always stay so positive? <laughs> I could never get to that level of personal motivation. Twenty odd in brackets, twenty odd years of chronic depression and anxiety. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! That, that wow. took a turn, and yeah, that was thought, a sharp turn. Have, twenty years of chronic depression might have something to do with that. Well, yeah, yeah. I can't speak for. I depression. mean, that's that's like going. How can Tim run so fast? I, can, I haven't been able to do it. I've got yeah. two broken legs. Yeah, <laughs> ten years of unbroken legs. But <laughs> did you say thing I've posted that Ev? I don't know who needs to hear this, but I said some foul tweet me saying bottle of Lucas Aid, a couple of wanks, you be grand. That's all. That's all you need. That's the key. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the key. Bottle of Lucas Aid. <laughs> um, <clears throat> do you stay positive? It's hard to stay. Positive, nah, I'm not positive it? all the time. Like, I just 
I just, whenever I am negative, I'm like, right, come on, catch yourself on. Mm. I think it's how long you stay in that state for this issue. It's recognizing it and ending it early. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, look at it, I look at everything like a percentage thing. Yeah. Is your life 80% good and positive? You're going to yeah. have a few shit. But you know what I mean? It's like... It's like I always say to you, uh, people, people are always negative and it's always to do with something they can't control. Like someone else's opinion on them. Yeah. yeah. And you're just like, don't waste Chinese. your... Don't waste... Or Chinese. Don't waste your energy on that. Like, you yeah. can't do anything about what other people think, you know. You, you got to also endure some shit to, you know, enjoy yeah. stuff. Too. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you're on the rainbow, you got to go through some shit. Yeah. Is that... <laughs> Exactly. Get that in the t-shirt. If you want the rainbow, you got to break some eggs, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Class. I that's know what it is. Like. You got to break some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that even mean? If you want to land amongst the stars, you have to. Uh, you, you have know. to shoot for the sex inch. Knees. <laughs> I know. I know. McCann has been losing weight, and fair play, he's been doing well. Who the fuck says guy? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it's gonna take a turn here. I know, rightly, right? Yeah. They start off with the nice fight. I know. And He's like, but let me see a head joke or some shit. Yeah, uh, oh, there'll be a head joke. Doing well. So is the only reason he's back with Tim again in case he gets to the point <laughs> the body can't support the head. All it. Yeah, well <laughs> done, man. And he needs a carer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, we're gonna run out of battery here. Uh, I mean, that can be an issue if you're like a trans person who's getting a load of hormones <laughs> and you've got you've got the fat man head and and the female frame can't hold it. We can't take a flip oh. one of them we shaky head boys. It'd probably be someone's kink, like, you know. Yeah. Doll with a big man head. Kink in your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Crack. Uh, yeah, you'll get that today. But I mean, it is hilarious if, it, if you put a hat on your head and it's just lost. No, it's, that I, picture I have of you in the Supreme hat is oh, probably yeah. one of my favourite things say, I've ever seen. I, I do have one, I've said this to you before, of one hat that I think might fit you because it's fucking massive, like. <laughs> We should, we it's should. A bucket. And it, it annoys me because it's like a special edition Nike Carhartt collab. And it oh, it's fit. a nice one. It doesn't fit me. It's fucking it, like it just—it's enormous and it's really high. But it might go around your. I, I laugh when you said in that picture of that like terrorist that looks like me, and you were like, uh-uh. "Finally find the hat and upside down dog basket." <laughs> so that's actually like. ridiculous. How much that looks like you? Crazy. Crazy. It's actually scary. My, my sister's convinced that like I did some sort of a fucking because it's, it's the fucking goatee, which it's yeah. the picture as well. You just stand back. Because it was days spot after on. I uploaded that like Shakira video, yeah. that, like app. Yeah. And my sister's like, you just did that with that picture too. And I was like, no, this is my doppelganger. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. I just love the idea of you going shopping for guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Bring it out, sir. Big weekend ahead of me. Ta 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 ta. I'm gonna get her. Uh, what was the, what is the first thing you notice about a person? The first thing I notice is if they have green or yellow teeth. Oh, look, well. out, look out for white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here, what did you <clears throat> brush your teeth with? A tube of pure. I don't know what the fuck that word is. Uh, what's the first thing you notice about? Well, I mean, if their teeth were green, you would notice that first. It goes tits, <laughs> ass, watch, teeth. <laughs> uh, I'll, yeah, a lot of times for me, it's trainers. Yeah. Actually, yeah. You like you know if God forbid I was on Tinder going on dates, but I, I would walk in. Yeah, but no one has their trainers in their picture, like. I know, but if you turned up in real life and they were like, "Oh, I'm wearing a red top," and you walk in, you go, "There's a red top," and a, nah, <laughs> pre-mark flimsoles. <laughs> Flimsoles. <laughs> I used to, used to say that. We used to call them flimsoles. <laughs> and I thought of, they were flimsoles for years. One of my many must pronounce <laughs> words that nobody in my family corrected me. Uh, you kept going. I was like, here. You may you're as well. You're just walking in the shops. Have you any condors? <laughs> <laughs> in size 12. Can I get a pair of lands? Uh, it's, uh, Where's fine. the fans? <laughs> <laughs> we, were in, we were in LA. Flex. In this shop. Yeah. Right, uh, buying trainers, probably a bit stoned, and there's these girls shopping, <coughs> and she had a pair of those like wicker shoes on, and McCann turns around without softening his accent at all. He goes, Here, is that the new Le Fleur? And then you got the Fleur? And the girl, the girl was like, What? And then new Le Fleur? I was thinking of getting a pair myself. By the way, if you were thinking of getting those, they were like fucking woven like a like a wicker chair you'd put in your conservatory. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Nina Fleur, is it? <laughs> ah, they wouldn't survive the weather in fucking the uh, home of town. Still the, still the best, uh, I'd say, moment, like snippet in my life was probably that time we had a bottle of bucket at uh, Venice Beach. Yeah. Oh, that's in a vlog, isn't it? Yeah. That's, uh, Jesus, I think what that was. That looked like, good, looked good, yeah. It, that was one of those moments where you're like, it actually probably won't get any better than this. Yeah, this is glad I, glad What's got, better than this? Yeah. <laughs> Secretly drinking in public. Yeah. Yeah. And they've probably never seen a bottle of Bucky over there, so it just looked like medicine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you drinking? Look at these boys down Cal Paul. Is that open liquor? And you're like, 
Lek mij. Ze hebben niet nog Ze hebben niet nog fleurs. Ze hebben niet Is dat wat ze noemen? Ze fleurs. Golf de fleurs, ja. Oh my god. Als je je walk around de fleur en dan. Ja, because I remember that because I I had wed. I think the last person that I'd met up with in LA that was actually from here was my brother. And then it was like a couple of months period of like just having to soften your accent again for Americans. Aye. And then whenever you and Maureen were over, I went full fucking like, Tyrone again. Like, Aye. so yeah. But uh, having said that, I've been, they never got asked twice what I, what I had said. Yeah. Anywhere in LA, you'd say mm. something to go, no problem. Yeah. And then you go to fucking Dublin and you say something, they're like, uh, well, what's he fucking saying, man? <laughs> <laughs> what's he saying? The Nordy. You Nordy know fucking gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> if Tim and Aaron swapped jobs, and Tim became a comedian and Aaron became a PT <laughs> who would fail the quickest? Oh, your business would go to shit. <laughs> I took over it like... No, I think... You, you should both struggle. Yeah, I think I'd struggle at the comedy side of things. Like, I definitely would. You could, it's I not mean, something that I ever want to go into. Like, but. You know, you, I mean, obviously you're going to start at like open mic level. If you were just confident and talked clearly, yeah. that puts you fucking miles ahead of most people yeah. to start. Yeah. And if you're aware that like you're trying a bit and it wasn't going like as well as it could have went, <clears throat> sort of back out of it, that'll get you through a gig. Yeah. yeah. Whereas McCann standing there <clears throat> over a barbell going, <laughs> <laughs> get it off the floor. <laughs> Comedy is one of those things. Those are like, if you like, you look back at it, and you're like, right, if I had to start this all over again from the start, would I do it? And definitely not. Like, no, it's yeah. I mean, like, it's such a fucking long game. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely more of a TED Talk kind of guy. I think I'd rather go that route than ever stand on stage and try and make people laugh. 100%. The TED Talk would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. How do I juggle farming? <laughs> You'd be down late in TED Talk, I Oh, man, great. Yeah. Great. Well, it's coming five be? five years time. I said I'm going to do a TED Talk by the time I'm 30. Speak, speak your boy Liam and fucking Oma there. He'll get you up on an, in an empty stroll talking to nobody. <laughs> no. Straight to... Empty stroll? What would you talk about? Well, right, if you had to do one on Friday, what would your what would your talk be? Oh, I don't know. I'd need to niche it down. Like a TED Talk's going to have to be something that I have to people think I'm an expert in, Get it which in. I'm an expert in nothing at the minute. Get it niche right down. Yeah, fat loss, fat loss, you can and spoof it improving your here po- being a positive guy all the time. Yeah. that's my yeah. thing. Non-stop positive guy. That's a good question, though, isn't it? That is a good question. That is a good question. Although, if it happened right now. You probably have more sort of like secondhand information about PT and oh, yeah. them than you, then you can't really explain how to do stuff no. that well. Yeah. It's very no. much like a triad thing. Like, go and do it and see see how you get on. <clears throat> I damn ass like. What is your biggest pet peeve? Mine is loud and unnecessary noise. Noisy eaters drives me insane. Yeah, I hate that also. I'll yeah, fucking beat you to death. If you're yeah, really loud, like. yeah. I actually much. think there is a proper phobia of that, and I think I have it. Like I there's a, I have a weird thing. Like say you were eating fucking a bowl of Doritos and I know and I know they're crispy yeah and you're quite aggressively eating them like that's okay with me yeah but it's when people do like a weird thing or a weird rhythm when they eat and you're like you're yeah. like oh can't un- see that now and it's something that's not crunchy like yeah. with an apple I'm like you know I'll let a bit of side noise see, come see at me but see anything yeah. else like see if I can hear your teeth hit together oh. and you're I know you're eating like pasta yeah that shouldn't happen. Do you ever get it whenever someone's kill you? Eating, yeah. fu- eating some of a fork and then their fucking teeth cling off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. And I've scrape had, it just like... Horrible. I've done that by accident where I had to go to the dentist because I bit the fork by accident. <laughs> but I had a... <laughs> just tuck out a tooth? No, it was fucking... I was cooking a barbecue, actually, and I just stuck the fork in on the thing to eat it straight away. It tastes like fork. <laughs> and I, t- I took a bite. And I think... You know, like, I think I put the fork in at a different angle than uh, I thought I'd put it in. And I went, and just went, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> There's nothing worse than if you've ever had a filling with a fork. Or, like, oh, it's, it's awful. It's you're, awful. Like, a, you're a hungry boy. There's, a, <laughs> there's no good way to chip a tooth. I chipped a tooth one time listening to grime music in the shower. That doesn't surprise me. Just gritting my teeth. You love grime. I love it. I don't Very care. Very optimistic music. Grime Is music. It? We yeah. listened to it on the way up in the car. Oh, I was, was great. I was thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Not one bit of uh, Katy Perry came on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you've stopped the daily dance routines. Oh, yeah. 
You just bullied me out of that. I was fuming. Ah, okay. Someone else was like, here, don't listen to them, guys. So, just get on and do yeah, it. So, sometimes you need some friendly fire. Man. Yeah, you know. You know I mean? Surround yourself with positive people. And you guys were like, don't do that. Time. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, they're coming back. If the opportunity arose, would any of you live full time in LA? Yes. 100%. Yes. I've never been. I would I, actually love to go. Uh, yeah, I, I have limited experience of it. And I was like, oh, I'd live here. Like, Yeah. Yeah, it's a great place. 100%. Because Even just the attitude of everyone, yeah, like people, it's sick in some people. But if you're actually out there trying to hustle, yeah, it's good. Yeah, you know, if you, I said this on the last podcast with your boy um, Matt from Inside Show, yes, and I was saying like if you're trying to do something over there, people kind of half respect it. Yeah, mm. they would. You know, if you said, "Oh, I'm out here trying to do an online coach thing," I'm a PT. They'd be like, "Oh, yeah. cool, do you have a card or something?" You know. Whereas over here, over if here, you're not like, don't have a mortgage by the time you're 22, uh, what the sure you get your life who, together? You sure. can't lift weights. But that's the, like over here has like a stereotype of having like a very like you know almost getting slagged for the attempt or like a stay Man, your lane. It's the nature. Northern Irish attitude. I wrote a blog on it once, but it kind of a while back. You kind of think it can't be like that. Like it can't like fulfill that stereotype, and then it does. Not 100 percent does. Like you see, like Race McKee fighting over the weekend, Aye. Mm. and like lost the fight to a fucking animal, and it's, and like most Twitter's like, oh fuck's sake, what a waste Good. of time. What, and yeah, you're like, I just fucking. I nothing. made it to the UFC. I know? just was talking about that with Liam McCord. Yeah, and she, you know it's like. It's no wonder so her, many people her, don't one of her follow her. Like, card, and the guy lost the fight to like a really experienced fighter, tough fight, mm. and they were and they were like, "Oh, maybe stick to the scaffolding or something." And you're like, "What?" And like, he's 24, like, and he's in the UFC. People, oh, people way, don't want to see other people doing better than them. No, that's by the, the way, biggest they issue. They know right, like, but the reason he's lethal. Yeah, obviously. But that guy <laughs> is a, you know, they'll look back and be like, "Jesus, do you remember they th- fucking threw him to the wolves a wee bit mm. first fight in the UFC." Like that guy is just gonna rip through a bunch of fighters and probably be a champion. Yeah, and you'll be like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ! It was like when they give, <clears throat> you know, a McGregor back in the day, like he had a f- his first fight, and then they sort of needed to fill a bit of a gap, and they let him. F- that guy Dennis Seaver fight him in Dublin. I think was it Dublin? I remember that was the Brando fight. They knew rightly he's gonna chew this cunt up, yeah. like, and sure enough, walks in, picks him apart, gets on top of him, beats the fuck out of him, and you're like, they the, knew, they knew that was yeah. gonna happen, like, yeah, yeah. Because obviously he's just wiping everybody out, and he's yeah. a champion. And like, <clears throat> I just I just hated seeing that shit. Like, as how many more like cool <laughs> people do you think we'd have from over here if we didn't have yeah. a fucking like? <clears throat> it reminds me of that story that <laughs> it's this attitude. It goes back whenever I done my GCSEs and I picked HE, and oh, like, I t- remember I told you this yeah. was like not that long. <laughs> how many this was not that, this <laughs> yeah. was not that long ago, but a year ago, and we were talking about GCSEs, and this guy went to me. He was like, ah. Oh, you faggot. <laughs> you gay? <laughs> and this was like, I, I'm 24, like, it was a while ago, and he's like, and are you gay? And then you, and then you get on the fucking school bus, with, like, uh, whip up an apple uh, crumble, I'm like, who's laughing now? You're a load of 15s, and you're like, suck it. By the way, not on straighter. Oh, oh, absolutely. Set Nathan and fades and all. And a man that can cook, sir. Chatting a woman, absolutely. getting more emotionally intelligent. Fucking right. I wish it was, uh, you know, I could cook pretty well from a young age. I, I wish it was more, I remember going fucking H.E. and it was like, today, yeah. today we're going to make like, some real bullshit yeah. toast and tea and I'd be like man get the fuck <laughs> yeah. I made get carrot soup fun. one time <laughs> from a GCSE practical and I just blended carrots <laughs> <laughs> raw carrots and, and then, you know the way like nice soup has a little bit of like creme fraiche uh, or cre- I, I poured the cream on top and it just looked like a bowl of mush and she went well that needs work <laughs> I was like Tim's, Tim's sitting there with a bottle of tipax <laughs> I'm, mm. sorry, I'm sweating for my GCSE HE exam. Like, oh, no. I can't cook for shit. I, I made them um, uh, roasted vegetables, but I bought them in a packet. But I didn't want to show the teacher that I brought in a tinfoil dish. They are already seasoned. So I hid it and I was like, whacked them in the oven. She's like, they're delicious. And I was like, shout out Dunn Stores. <laughs> <laughs> they are already seasoned. <laughs> Neve McGlinchey, will Tim marry me? Oh, I sure. There you go, sir. Sure, why not? Hey? Why not? Why not? Gotta get red somewhere. <laughs> No, wait, leave that to after the marriage. Come on, please. I can't wait. Do you get married? It's going to be so distracting. Come on, come out here for photos and all. You're just the whole time going, get this over. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that cake to fuck it up and stare. Why, why I would argue against it mm-hmm. is you're not messing much. So you could either put it off and be like, ah, sure, it's only bucking. Especially, yeah. <laughs> especially if you're going ass to mouth on a Tuesday. Uh, but you're sort of like... Ass to mouth Tuesdays, it's, it's classic. Like not, it's, not, it's like not a big deal, so why hold back? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. It actually will probably be a lap down. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. class. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like telling someone you're going to s- take stand-up, for example. Oh, I'm going to do a gig in five years. It's going to be great. 
It's gonna be shit. Like my TED talk. It's gonna take another five years to get good at it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Start mm. fa- start sooner. Start- <laughs> yeah. Hit that wedding night like a fucking professional athlete. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No one rides on a wedding night. You're exhausted. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, Hit the bed, sir. Get me too far. You'd have to take a, a fucking good long shower before. Sure, they can't even have weddings at the minute. Oh, it's a disaster. Have, my brother's had to put his off to like my next da- year. My dad's getting remarried there in August. Abs- plenty of fish girl? That's not her name. Like <laughs> <laughs> Puff girl? I, I guess it's you. It's you. That's le- I remember. I remember, um, I remember. I remember. Yes, about his dad. He goes. He bought like was it a year subscription? Uh, plenty of here. fish. What was worth it? Met a girl after about. Th- How much is a year? But he met her within the six of month. So he was like, I get the rest of the money back. I don't need it now. But that's the thing. Who's paying a year for Tinder? Like, well, people. You don't. That's a pretty you negative. With yourself, like. Yeah, you're like, right, it's gonna take a year. Yeah. Like, do you just play around for 11 months and then the last one you're like, right, I'm right, fucking make something happen. It's go time. You just get picky, I think, if you've got like that much of a window. Like, yeah, yeah. Nobody needs that. Like, It's like the, the thing, given amount of time, that's how long it'll take to get the work done, you know? Yeah. If you're given 12 months to find a woman, it'll take 12 months. Aye. Whereas if you're like, right, I need a woman in two Amsterdam weeks. And you're going for dinner at eight. Yeah. <laughs> And Let's get it done. And you need to blast one. Do a couple of po- do a couple of pomodoros. We're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm in the podcast. You didn't have for Amsterdam. I was listening to it, and you were like, "And I went with Mickey and R, and not one prostitute was read. <laughs> was fuming." <laughs> yeah, I'm the married guy going like, "Well, what? I'll pay for it for fuck's sake. I'll pay double. Uh. Somebody. <laughs> it's not thirty. You know what I mean? It's not CD over here. No, that's paying that woman's rent." <laughs> it's, it's acceptable. I've never been. And especially high, when it's like that's the fucking premiership of prostitutes. Yeah. Like you, these aren't like a bunch that's of the Champions of, League. These yeah. aren't a bunch of skip rats. We're not even, a skip. We're not even in the foil cup over you're, here. You're walking along and you're like, that's actually Beyonce. Is that actually Beyonce for fifty quid? Up <laughs> and you're all like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's mean, it's meanwhile, I'm having, a, I'm having an aneurysm because I smoke too much weed. <laughs> Boys, take me back to the room. Oh my days. Where the fuck you get that pizza? News boys would have been some site over there. Oh, it was hilarious. It was so funny. Just in a beer garden getting sunburnt to but, death. But everyone... You two fucking tasty <laughs> bastards. It's that thing of like, oh... He's Nicky's really always amazing. sunburnt, even oh. when it's like minus oh, 10 degrees. He has a glass of water <laughs> since the noughties. He has blood problems. So like, it's like... Blood, blood problems. problems. Like, <laughs> pressure. <laughs> Three three comedians in Amsterdam. People are like, "Oh, that's a bad one, isn't it?" And it was just like we had like three panic attacks in a nap. Uh, unreal uh, drugs. Adrian Dallas as a fellow online coach. Hi. Oh, shout out! Shout out to eighty. <laughs> not many of us. Uh, find the tra- how does him find the transition uh, from in person training <clears throat> to online coaching? Great, better. Probably uh, it's great. I actually started in January. It's funny because you know. Even me thinking, like, I have a lot of equipment, so you can program... Oh, it's great. ...decent work. Is that, is that oh, good? Oh, it's fantastic. Because yeah. over COVID, a lot of people were doing home workouts, and I was like, I have to, you know, I have to try my best to make this as inventive as possible. Yeah. Yeah. There's only so many press-ups you can do, like. Yeah. But whenever someone has full equipment, and now that we're back in the gyms, it's like, oh, great. Yeah. I love programming, like, so. Um, yeah, because, uh, you know, re- realistically, you're like... <clears throat> It, when you think about it, it kind of might be a waste of time having, unless someone might be like older and has never lifted or anything. Or beginners, beginners yep. need the in-person Can you do thing. like a, a short set of fucking in-person sets to get someone going? Yeah. And then, Some people do like a hybrid, so they'll do like one session a week in the gym yeah. to fully like nail form yeah. and then online the rest of the time. Yeah. But no, I went online in January, so not before COVID. People think I went online because of COVID. Yeah, you should But no, be. thankfully I had a bit of a head start. Yeah. Because yeah, the amount of PTs that were like, I was in PT groups and there was PTs that were like, I need to go online, but I don't even I don't even know how to use an iPad or I don't know how to use a laptop. And I'm like, oh, goodness. Yeah. That's yeah, no, you were in there. Goodness me. Yeah. I want to live in Bali for three months. So that's why I want to. Nice. Freedom. Bali. And you'll start a trend, man. A lot of fitness people will be going to Bali. <laughs> I'm telling you. The laptop lifestyle. It's all about it. Yeah. Bali just looks great. That was me being sarcastic. Oh, I know. Because I know yeah. that's part of the journey. Now. Yeah, a lot, a lot of fans people go to Try Bali. and find some... Is the Philippines? What? Where's, where's Bali? Indonesia. Indonesia? Is it? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, it, is, we go. it is Bali, Indonesia. I've seen it on the Airbnb. I'm Here, Bali. but in Bali for 450 quid a month, your boy's lapping up on a pool, sir. Oh, I... I lapping I what up? <laughs> Well, ah, we'll see when we get out there. <laughs> Moped in the pool, three quid. <laughs> bling bling. 
<laughs> ching ching party on. Yeah. And then you get out there and you realize you're like, Tyrone and you're like, I'll hit and kill you. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shocking, but yeah, you gotta you gotta be well chiselled before you go out there. You know what I mean? So, oh, I know. So you mean business? Get rid of that COVID five percent extra body fat that I've gathered up. Now the football's back. I'm I'm leaning down. You know, it's good that you, you as a coach, you also have a target. You know, you can, oh, of course, you, you can you can like uh, relate the people. You know? Of course, definitely. Now I don't know. There, there's weight coming off with me, and the only thing I can say is trousers don't fit me, and and t-shirts look big, and that's it. That's great. We're a long way away from. I'm sure that's great. Pronounced fuck gutters, but yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but this you like, you want it. I always harp on the people long term, long term. You have to think long term, of course, yeah. Because people do quick fixes for a couple of weeks. Yeah, they might lose the weight, but they'll be depressed on the back of it because yeah. Sometimes you know, sometimes you see someone who really drops a lot of fat really quickly. Yeah, and you realize, and they also the, look awful. Yeah, like underneath. It's, yeah, it's like a fucking. It's like a. You know, just like a wee tiny frame holding yeah. up a load of And they, they look great. And some people like suit that little bit of extra weight and people just try and <laughs> totally lose the weight. And then people take up running. Running and fat loss is, is fine. But people take up running, they run the roads and then they don't have any knees left and they just look like, you know, they've been put through a shredder. Yeah. Nobody knows how to run. Like, uh, Yeah, no one knows how to run. running. It, yeah, running's a weird thing. It's bad for you if you don't have the muscle yeah. to cope with it. Strength and conditioning... You know, gym work is key. A lot of people neglect it. Yeah, totally. You have to do something like resistance training of some sort has to be done. I have loads of people come to me and say, oh, I just want to look like, you know, we we'll just focus on diet and I, I hate the gym. I'm like, well, find something you enjoy. You can get quite strenuous <clears throat> left with just a kettlebell. I know. Yeah. Like I, and I, resistance training as well. Like front squats. And it, it actually is as tough to do like a back squat with a lot of weight as it is to do two kettlebells at a <laughs> yeah. front squat like yeah. it's the same like you know push the, yeah. the top like I added thrusters into your, your workout this week as well oh you dirty bitch double <laughs> no, double, <laughs> double rack oh that's great can't wait to see uh, you try them that's the reason I'm walking around with a bad back but uh, <laughs> what's your ideal meal day you have to pick a sambo packet of crisps cho- oh meal deal sorry Me- meal Sa- day sambo packet of crisps chocolate bar Let, let's do it what's class your ultimate qu- subway class question <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute do you know what keep that to the end there's two more questions uh, apart from Lavery's for the obvious connection, what's your favourite pub bar to go drinking in Belfast? I, I'm a Dirty Onion mm. fan. Dirty Onion's good. And I'm a Dirty Onion fan in it. Most people sit outside. I yeah. never remember where, like, what the bars are called. No, I just yeah. kind of go, because I don't drink, like, I don't, because I don't go to Belfast fucking, much, like even. Business. I'm just uh, like, okay, I'll go wherever the crowd's Belfast, going. Belfast has a lot of bars now where it doesn't matter which one you're in. Yeah. The vibes are like... I like the Heart Bar. Yeah. I like that. The heart Bar's good. Well, the Heart Bar's like a diet Duke of York. Juke York out the back, lethal. Yeah. The live uh, music in the heart bar is great. Yeah. Um, I like pugs too. Pug uglies. Yeah. <clears throat> the Woodworkers is my favourite place to drink. Oh, it's that like Woodwork. It's at Lavery's. I love it. Like, yeah. See, down the back corner, fucking all yeah. the boys. Lethal. That was the spot. Where's the place that's inside and outside? Thirsty Goat? Is that, that a place? That and Dirty Onion is like... Oh, is that like the one? Away, yeah. You can be inside. Oh, right, okay. It's open air, yeah. Yeah, that's decent. Um, worst gig of my life in there. Um... Doing like a fucking tenants gig or something. The woman was like, "Yeah, what's well, just just gonna be some of the employees here." And then because it was free drink and free food, there was Everyone about fucking seven hundred people there. And she went up and she was like, "So oh, you're going up next, to Scott?" That's how loud it was. The next thing that come in, come and get us. And I walked up. No one even heard her. <laughs> here I am talking into the abyss. Uh, uh, oh well, fuck that. Uh, question. Apart from that, yeah. Well, there you go. This is the final question. Patrick McAllister. He goes to Lavery's. He's wearing Yeezys one day. Good lad. Oh, I, feel like I, I feel like I know that name. Anyway, um, friend of your dad. So, uh, I, think he, I think he's in the, the final question. What's your ideal... Just say, meal day, let's go Subway. What are we talking? Oh, Subway? We're going Subway? Well, you, fuck, you, I mean, who gives a fuck about a meal day like Tesco's? Eat my ass. See, Subway, I used to get everything, which became a bit of an issue because it wouldn't even fit in the bread. So after Rowan, I used to go to the subway. I used to just start. I was like, "Give us everything." Now, and the when woman, you say I everything like all the salad. The woman looked at us. What and, meat are we talking about? Oh, meat. Sorry. Um, normally like a BMT. Nah, BMT. BMT is the shit. Yeah, mm. it's like a pizza and a and a bap. Yeah, it's great. But the salad got too much. I was like, "This is just too much." So okay. now I just go for lettuce, tomato, olives, jalapenos. You lost my respect at olives. Um, what? Olives are great. No, they are. When you're drunk and they're 
<laughs> no black ones because it's fucking eat my ass. BMT I in the green ones are is like uh, the big taste of McDonald's. Yeah. It's like it's the only real <clears throat> I hate McDonald's burgers. Thing in the menu. I, like, hate them. I like I I've you know, you go through all the fucking steak and you know, all that shit. Teriyaki steak and all that wank. <laughs> My favourite Subway now is just I get the rotisserie the chicken rotisserie Oh yeah And ham That's new isn't it? <clears throat> yeah I think so Pretty new uh, yeah I just, I just get a fucking plain Sam I just get the chicken Ham Bit of cheese melted on it And then I just go Let's smell a cucumber Loads of pickles Yeah mm. Wee bit of Southwest mm-hmm. That's all I do They have good cookies too But sometimes I think If, if you leave the salad out altogether It's like a toasty It's really yeah. nice Like Sometimes I'm just not I'm just like nah, Don't even give me nah, any salad Nah I, I enjoy a juicy sandwich Like Mmm Mm. Respect Hated obviously Oh what I don't trust anyone That doesn't get their subway hated mm. You you're, gotta get it hated You're losing a lot of texture there Yeah. Oh absolutely texture. Bit of crunch yeah. yeah No definitely That's a weird one like And I cow subway I know I know fuck And off. anyone that gets tuna in a subway <laughs> Yeah Fuck yeah, off Yeah come on Again that's that's like going out for carbonara Surround yourself with good people Not them people I can make a tuna sandwich <laughs> Yeah I'm not paying for it I don't like I tuna that isn't I, like. That isn't John West I'm not, not John it. West Like I don't want it like, yeah. You know, you, you go to the, like a centre deli and you see it, and it, it looks grey or something. <laughs> but they try and they try. That's and, the colour tuna is. They try and get, you know, better legs out of it, like so they yeah. mix it with so much mayonnaise. Yeah, that it's, it's like probably been there for a week, anymore. like yeah. Fuck that, carry on. Yeah, hundred uh, like percent. Chicken and bacon mix, but it's like all mayo. That's all you taste. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Definitely squirt. <laughs> uh, we've talked for an hour and twelve minutes. Wow. And we've talked mainly about food, and I'm ready. <laughs> so, I'm ready uh, for sush. Yes, uh, dude. So uh, we're gonna go. We're going we're California going to Southeast rules. Asia. We're going to Bali, <laughs> which, of course, we now know is in the Philippines. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's in Indonesia. And do you? Uh, you always have heard. I know. Do we? Do we get this food and bring it here? Or do we go out? I'm game for whatever. You're, like. you're the host, sir. Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, you could <clears throat> play some tunes here and eat. You could really embarrass yourself with sushi. And, you know what I mean? Like delivery. Do kamakura. Like, well, let's do it. Okay. Cheers, let's, guys, for coming on. Not about this. It'll be out when it's out, which is a week from. <clears throat> it'll be out today because you're watching it today. Yeah. But it was recorded a week ago, just in case anything dramatic happens. <laughs> Might have us called. No problem. Yes. Bro. Never. Great stuff. Again. <laughs> Thanks so much. Loved it. And if you want to get twenty percent off uh, some gross meals that you want to throw in the bin, Dirt Civil Twenty. Clean. What cut. camera do, do we look at here? By the way, <laughs> just clean, clean cut. Let's shift some units. <laughs> Please don't. Let's shift some units. Eh. And by shifting units, I mean, let's leave this desk, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you later. Thanks, All the guys. Best. All the best.